Welcome back to Cigar Noise Weekly. I'm Dave, your host, and this is your almost weekly source of everything cigar related. And as a special announcement, JC Newman has sponsored this show for the rest of the football season so that we can tell you how to win a trip for two, the Super Bowl, as well as weekly prizes and their Stogie Bowl. Dude, I know all about the Stogie Bowl. Let me tell them about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Take it away, Rich. All right. So you have a bunch of like-minded friends over. You get a bowl. Each person puts in a cigar. And then guess what happens next? <laughs> no, I, I bet I lost words. Everybody takes out a cigar, and whatever you take randomly, that's what you get to smoke tonight. So it looks like, looks like I'm spending the night with Anastasia. Right. Or Robert Caldwell, if you want to think about it that way. Actually, it's, uh, it's just a website where you go and you register your team and you make your picks each week on who's going to win. And then J.C. Newman sends out five weekly prizes to those who guess better than I do, as well as a trip for two to the Super Bowl. So to head over to stogiebowl.com, register, and make your picks enter. Hey, not now, genius. Get back here and do that shit later. Go ahead and press pause. Fire up that diamond crown you've been waiting on all day. It's time to make some noise with Sean and the Great White North. What's up, Noise Nation? Big boy running, coming at you. Taking Tat Tuesday to the next level. Peace! <laughs> Alright, Sean, what was your most awkward tattoo story? I have many, but my favorite would be uh, my, uh, my, my good buddy Jeremy, or Jugs, we call him Jugs, wanted me to uh, tattoo a dollar sign on, on his... Can I, can I say nutsack? You can on say his, nutsack. On his nutsack. <laughs> He he, uh, this, he wanted to be able to stand in the mirror in the mornings and hold his money bags like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> so, uh, Ducktails. So that that'd be the most awkward. Okay. It's awkward for both him and I. <laughs> That's you when could... you, you really know if you're a true friend. Oh yeah, yeah. It bonded us for life. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was uh, it was very like logistically difficult because you can imagine that's not a uh, with all the folds. Yeah, it's not like tattooing a, a, a peach or something. It was like tattooing a <laughs> tattooing a plastic bag with nothing in it. <laughs> no offense, drugs. <laughs> so let me ask you this: uh, Who? Because like you know, when I came in and and I'm getting my tattoo on my leg, you you shaved my leg for me. Uh, so who did the shaving? I, no, he did all the shaving. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually thought that he could hold it for me too. As you can imagine, that was a little bit like, logistically difficult to figure out too. And what, what we we sort of came to the conclusion that uh, that I had to hold it, but I sort of sort of had to like take the skin and, and stretch it out over my fingertips and then tattoo on my fingertips. It was. Geez. Not fun for either of us. So, so a message to the kids out there: if you're thinking about getting your bag tattooed, don't, don't, just don't do it. Don't. Okay. I think that's a good message. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it for the kids today on Cigar Noise TV. <laughs> just finishing up my tattoo, um, and uh, I don't know about you, but like sometimes I always uh, like I want to take my coin, my Cigar Noise coin, I want to represent everywhere I go, uh, but sometimes I'm a little forgetful. I'm getting older. Um, so today I was like, you know what, uh, I'm stepping it up on the swag game. I'm, uh, I'm taking it to the next level, and uh, so I'm never going to have to worry about uh, forgetting my coin again. Check it out. That's not swag you're going to get in any gift box. Peace! Thanks, Sean. Be sure to check him out on Instagram, at run to smoke Next, Rich is back with a fascinating find on self-lighting cigars. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at a book called Cigar Box Labels, Portraits of Life, Mirrors of History, which sounds really nerdy, uh, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, so it's got a whole lot of cool cigar box art, as you would expect, throughout the entire book. Um, it's pretty well done. It looks pretty nice. It also contains a whole ton of history and information about cigars. Uh, one of the coolest things that I like from this book is a section about self-lighting cigars, which were apparently a novelty smoking item for a little while. Uh, check this out. Upon striking the end, the cigar burst into instant flame amid a low hissing noise, a cloud of smoke, and a strong chemical smell approaching that of gunpowder. Uh, so if you can come up with a self-lighting cigar that doesn't smell like gunpowder, you might be on better track than those guys were. 
Uh, but anyway, this is a pretty cool book. I found it at a secondhand store. And my real tip of the day is to check out used bookstores or check out the used section of bookstores you go to. Uh, I'll often find cigar related books for like six bucks. This one is like six bucks. Um, Barnes and Noble, anywhere. They all have the used book section, cheap books, lots about cigars, kind of surprising. Thanks, Rich. Be sure to check him out on Instagram at MooCowRich as well as CigarNoise.com. And how does Dom mix his drinks? Let's find out. What's up? Welcome to Cocktail Corner. I'm, I'm in a corner, so let's make a cocktail. Rock and roll! So the drink I'm making today is one that I made up. It's called the Boulevard IPA. It's kind of a spin-off of the Boulevardier, if you know what that is. Uh, but instead of bourbon, I use IPA-infused whiskey. All right, so here's the whiskey that I'm using. Yeah, there we go. It's made by Duca Distillery, uh, local to Modesto, California. It used to be my local distillery, but I just moved out to San Jose. Still gotta wrap the hometown though. All right, we're going to do equal parts whiskey. Yeah! Campari. All right! And two eat removed. Get it! All right. And then throw a touch of orange bitters in there just for good measure. There it is. I'm a pickle! It's probably one of my favorite cocktails that I've created, and I'm really enjoying it with this 7 7 Habano. I picked out a Habano because I wanted something a little bit spicier to complement the drink. The drink is plenty sweet. It really sets it off. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more fun. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more fun in this corner. What's your favorite cocktail you've invented? Uh, let me know. Uh, I'll try it out. Rock and roll. Thanks, Don. Be sure to check him out on Instagram and YouTube at cigar underscore analogies. Now we're headed to Ted for the cigar of the week. Our cigar of the week is made by HVC Cigars. This little gem right here. Pan Caliente. We're talking flapjacks. We're talking hot cakes. Pan Caliente. I want to talk a little bit about my experience with this cigar. I've probably smoked about oh eight or nine of them and solidly consistent cigar. See the burr, the ash on that cigar? It's been my experience every time I've smoked this. Nice straight burn, nice solid ash. Also, this cigar, you're probably not gonna find yourself experiencing an abundance of different flavors. You're not gonna experience any wild transition between portions of the cigar, but what you're gonna get is a solid cigar with good flavors, with good construction every time. I haven't had one of these yet that fell short of that. And the crazy thing is, I've smoked cigars at a price point three times this one that weren't constructed as, as well as this is and didn't have the solid and consistent flavor characteristics as this one has. You can pick up this gem for a little over six bucks. Six dollars and twenty cents is what it says online. Um, a bar they're a bargain. Great cigar. Uh, you'll see several guys on Cigar Noise smoking these. This is a very good cigar. I gotta thank LCCJ for turning me on to this cigar. Uh, really enjoy it. Uh, some of the flavors you're gonna get from this is, uh, or at least that I get from this and you might find too, um, I get a lot of peanut note in it, um, roasted peanuts, uh, a lot of bitter coffee notes, a um, little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, I happened to read somebody else's uh, review and they mentioned some flavors that I don't think I necessarily have ever experienced, but hey, everybody's palate's different, and that's the beautiful thing about smoking cigars is what I experience with Pan Caliente might be something different than you experience. But I think you can always rely on the quality construction of this cigar. It's never let me down. And speaking of Pan Caliente and the flavors that I get from it, one of the things that I appreciate about this smoke is that it's consistent, and to me it's relatively simple, but very enjoyable. And a cigar doesn't always have to be uh, dressed to impress, so to speak. You can see it's got a very nice, simple band on it, but it's easy to identify what the cigar is. And since 
this cigar, Pan Caliente, means hotcakes. And I think originally when they named it that, they were hoping to name it like, it's, it's along the lines of selling like hotcakes. Like, they're going to sell a lot of these, and they've sold me quite a few of them. But, pancakes. This reminds me of my favorite way to eat pancakes. Listen, I don't need my pancakes all gussied up and disguised as something else. I want pancakes with... Maybe a little bit of peanut butter in the middle. I think that's why this cigar reminds me of my favorite pancakes because they get a lot of peanut notes from this. I want some butter and I want maple syrup. That's it. I don't need a whole bunch of other stuff. And it got me thinking about pancakes and I thought, what's the biggest retailer of pancakes out there? Probably IHOP. So let's see what they have. So I look up on my phone and at IHOP right now, you can get yourself some red velvet pancakes and there's whipped cream and frosting and you get Rudy, Tootie, Fresh and Fruity pancakes which looks like a mess and uh, New York cheesecake pancakes which actually sounds pretty good but it doesn't sound like breakfast it sounds like dessert uh, and then chocolate chocolate chip pancakes of course all kid, every kid's favorite but it sounds a little too sweet for me uh, this is more my speed original buttermilk pancake that's what you get here original buttermilk pancake with syrup and some peanut butter that's the best way to describe this cigar right here. Go out, find yourself one. I hope you have a good week. Go eat some carb cakes. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Ted. Be sure to check him out on Instagram at TedRunsAgain or CigarNoise.com. And last but not least, here's your deal of the week. La Madrina, the Boondock Saint, Mi Querida, Emilio's Cavatina, and the Underground Corona Viva, as well as that badass cigar and always pressed. As always, there's only a handful of these available each week, so get them while you can. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.